more than 2,000 spark-proof parts work together. Carbon blades lift fuel from an underground tank the size of a swimming pool. A vortex chamber removes bubbles from the liquid, while a filter extracts particles. A meter measures the fuel to the 10 thousandths of a gallon, and a belt-driven vacuum pump sucks out the flammable vapor so the fumes don't ignite, safely filling more than 400 cars a day. Inside the pump, the meter goes to work when you fill up your car. As the fuel flows through the meter, it pushes the pistons in and out. This rotates an interlocking set of gears that steps up the speed. The gears drive a magnet mounted on a disc that spins past a sensor. A computer picks up these magnetic pulses and records each rotation. This system counts up the gallons with extreme accuracy. So what you see is what you get. But the computer doesn't control every sensor inside the pump. It's a mechanical system that stops the pump overfilling your tank. If the pump doesn't shut off when your tank is full, it could flood the pavement with highly flammable fuel. So how does it know when to stop? The secret lies in the nozzle itself. As gas fills the tank, air is pushed back of a small channel. The air holds a flexible diaphragm in place. When the tank is full, the fuel blocks the air channel and the diaphragm deflates. This releases a spring that forces a valve shut and cuts off the fuel. This automatic mechanism allows the machine to pump furiously, but halt in a split second so it doesn't overflow. This built-in cutoff switch means you'll get a full tank instead of wet feet.